now we're set to go the women's 800 meters. Looks like Kiryukina is going to break for the pole, but Walk Bachtel is right on her inside shoulder, but Kiryukina cut her in just a little bit. It's legal, but it looks like here those the faster runners are going for the pole wanting to control the race. And of course, that means that it could develop very quickly into a tactical race. Number 111 running three, as you see, is Kolovitz of Yugoslavia. Fast pace right here, 28.5 at, uh, at the 200 meter mark, excuse me, which is, could be a world record pace right now. And it looks like they are pushing the pace all the way. They haven't settled in right now. Kiryukina looks very strong in the front, and so does Bakhtel. So it is Kiryakina of the Soviet Union who is setting the early pace. She has the world record, Charlie, for 600 meters. So she's got a lot of speed as well as endurance. Intermediate time at 400 meters, just over a minute. It's slowing down a little bit here at 60 seconds, and I think we're going to see a fast last 200. It is Kiryakina, Bakto, from uh, Yugoslavia, Kolovitz. Then from Czechoslovakia, Sedlakova, Janet Bell, Joetta Clark. These two front runners look very much in control right here. They look relaxed, which is the key for sprinting. You need to stay relaxed this last 200 meters. And the bell lap, one lap to go. Okay, now you can see the race develop. They're going to their arms because their legs are tired here, so you've got to go to your arms. And it looks like the Yugoslavian is trying to make a move on the outside. And here comes Christina Bachtel on the outside of Kiryakina. And here is Bachtel down the final straight as she pulls away. And going for second place is Sedlakova, Czechoslovakia. Christina Bachtel of East Germany, the European champion, captures the world championship here unofficially just over a couple of minutes. And we will be back with more.